Yeah, I feel pretty good. You know, went through one of the drills and went through shoot around. So, um, pretty much a, a game time decision right now, but um, it's looking good right now, I think. Is it depending on pain or is it how you yeah, can just push pain off? Yeah, of and as long as I can't restrict myself from doing certain things, you know, like if I'm if I'm limping or whatever, if I'm out there kind of trying to adjust and not play running like my normal self, then that'll dictate. Could you I'm, could you sense any of that during shoot around? A little bit of both. You know, just uh, that was that was really my first time really going at it like that since since the uh, the game. So just felt both. So now I'm just waiting to see how I feel right before the game, and then we'll go from there. What's what is the, the pain level like right now? Uh, I couldn't give you a number. I'd probably say not too bad, but you know, um, I don't know. I couldn't give you like a number, but it's it's not too bad. I'm I'm, I'm fine. What's when the off court process like rehab? Uh, I don't think I've ever been to the training room as much as I have the past two days. Um, just non-stop treatment, just continuing to work on it, uh, even while I'm sleeping, you know, just finding ways to make sure that I can recover as fast as possible. How are your nerves this game? You know, I know last time you said you was, you was a little nervous. Um, how are you feeling heading into the game? I think you got the first one out the way. Um, I think now it's just a matter of game planning and understanding there's going to be adjustments, you know, if I come off a pick and roll, you know, certain things may not be like they were game one. Um, Certain things that weren't their game one may be their game two. Uh, as far as defensively goes, um, you know, we we as a team we got we got to be able to 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 stay locked in and make the adjustments that we've been working on. And um, offensively, I think we're just moving the ball a lot more and, and um, getting out in, in transition. We kind of got away from that. You know, game one was really really slow. And yeah, I've heard that the playoffs are slower, but you know that's not who we are. So we can get back to what we what we do. What's the last two days been like? Well, preparation standpoint. Long practices, <laughs> um, but just a lot of focus, a lot of great intensity. You know, everybody's been locked in, ready, ready to go, and I think that's just a testament to, to our guys. You know, um, you can have a practice like that, and guys can kind of start to lose it by hour, like hour two. You know, but we're, we're same intensity, same focus, and guys are even, we're all chipping in, saying uh, maybe we should do this. You know, and the coaches have been, been great in allowing us to kind of give our input and, and see what see how we want to guard certain things, and you know, give their input and saying. This is what they've been doing all year, you know, this and this and that. But um, everybody's been active and involved, and I think that's the best part. How badly do you want to get the W and bring it back to Salt Lake? Um, definitely. You know, definitely kind of get a chance to, to steal home court. It'll be, it'll be big for us. But, you know, if we stick to what we've been working on the past two days and build off what we did defensively, and on the, especially on the boards in game one, I think we'll be in good shape. Do the long practices mean that you have a lot of things that you want to change for game um, I, I, I don't think that. I think it's more so coach is big with repetition. You know, and kind of going over it, and you know, when you start to do things five, six, seven times in a row, it starts to be ingrained in your mind. You know, and we don't have five days to kind of go before our next game. We have two days, and I think that's just pretty much all it is, just making sure we get the reps that we need. You threw your team through about 50 less passes than you really? do on a regular game. What do you think caused that? I think that? that's just a testament to, to slowing down. You know, you look at the film, we're not running the lane. You know, there are a lot of fast fast break opportunities that were there that we didn't capitalize on. So I think that'll be that'll be a testament, you know, because if we get the ball movement, then we, we can continue to, to make those extra passes and get open shots. When you talk about dealing with some of the pain, can you sense it and is it in the back of your mind as you're trying to move yeah, and trying to go? And do you think that could affect you during the game? It's definitely sometimes there in the back of your mind, like, Oh, I don't want to do this just in case, but you know, they, that's I can't play if that's that's the stuff that's in my head. So I'm trying to, you know, this like I said today felt felt pretty good, and now I just see how I feel during during the game. Is have, you, so again. Question. have you ever experienced trying to play through this kind of pain before? No, not that I can think, not that I can remember. Uh, thank God, you know, <laughs> not that I can remember that, but this is the first one, and you know, I'm. I'm not one to just call it if it's iffy, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm real determined on playing and, you know, but if my body can't, you know, I'm not going to push it now and then not be available the rest of the series, you know, I think it's just a matter of being smart with it as well as understanding that I do want to play. So it's a, it's a, it's, it's tough for me because I want to play through anything, but, you know, I got to be smart with it as well.